We're going to start things out with people across the Midlands are still struggling with broken pipes or low water pressure due to the recent weather. Will insurance cover the issues? And if you live in an apartment, what are your rights? Just a few of those questions we sent news. Well, you guys sent News 19, so Sam Perez is in search of those answers. And so fast, I didn't have a chance to do anything because it flooded the Belinda Baker lives in Rosewood Hills Apartments. She says she was watching TV in her living room on Christmas Eve when she saw water rushing in from her patio. Immediately, she called Columbia Housing Authority. The, the calls have been uh, tremendous, to say the least. Yvonne DeBean is the CEO of Columbia Housing. She tells me that the group has been out since Christmas Eve responding to calls about broken pipes. I hope soon they'll be here to get everything straightened out. Carolyn Hill lives in the unit below Belinda. While her pipes didn't break, her apartment did get damaged due to issues in Belinda's unit. For now, the apartment installed a unit to remove the extra moisture. For people like Shacrystal Richardson, flooding still hasn't been fixed. My daughter and I heard the gargling noises coming through the wall. Shacrystal lives at Harbor's Landing. When a pipe burst in a vacant unit next to her, she had to call the fire department to shut off the water. Days later, it's still not fixed. With my children, we can't even stay here because we don't have running water. There's dishes piled up in the sink. We can't use the bathroom. We can't shower. We can't eat. And we can't even keep warm because we don't have heat. So we basically can't live in this situation. It's unlivable. We reached out to Harbor Landing's apartment management company. But as of the deadline for this report, they have not responded. For her part, Richardson reached out to Tanae Parker, who owns the nonprofit Broken Crayons. The organization provides emergency assistance to those in need. Parker fundraised to help Shacrystal and her four children stay in an Airbnb for a few days. It's just what you're supposed to do. I think that's what community means. Um, I think that's what happens when we take care of one another. Things like this happen. It's something that I've been looking for a long time since I was a child. So it's just a part of um, how I live my life. While Shacrystal is still waiting for her apartment's maintenance to resolve the issue, she's hopeful it will be fixed soon. Belinda is hoping for the same. In the meantime, she shared a lesson. Make sure you get rentals insurance. Belinda tells me she's filed a claim with her insurance company for the property damage. Reporting in Columbia, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. News 19 reached out to the South Carolina Department of Insurance to see what residents with renter's insurance can do. According to Acting Director Michael Weiss, if your rental, rental is rendered uninhabitable as a result of covered loss, Temporary housing may be covered under the loss of use or additional living expense section of the policy. He says it's important to track your spending and save your receipts.